my voice, for I have called to you. To you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. Hide not your face from me. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is being offered for your intentions, and I am offering it also for a special intention for myself. This is the birthday of my cousin Peggy McAllister, who has passed away about two years ago, so I'm remembering her in, in my Mass. But I am also remembering your own intentions, and also our veterans. There will be a veteran's blessing after the prayers of the faithful for this Mass. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously hear our supplications, O Lord, so that we who believe that the Savior of the human race is with you in your glory may experience, as he promised, until the end of the world, his abiding presence among us, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus, Simon the Selah, and Judas son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response, I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, rejoice to the extent that you share in the sufferings of Christ, so that when his glory is revealed, 
you may also rejoice exultantly. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let no one among you be made to suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or an intriguer. But whoever is made to suffer as a Christian should not be ashamed, but glorify God because of the name, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may, be, may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life that they should know you, the only true God, the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorify you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave me, gave to me, I have given to them. And they accept them and truly understand that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good day, my friends. Today, we celebrate the seventh Sunday of Easter, and we see some interesting details happening in the book of the Acts of the Apostles from our first reading. Uh, we're given that roll call of the College of Apostles, shall we call them. And we get their names. This is the people who, these are the men who are going to, uh, and women, Mary's there, who are going to spread the good news of the gospel. And we see in that chapter from Acts of the Apostles, it's at the very beginning. And you get that sense from one little detail that even they don't know how everything's going to take shape, what it's going to look like. And that little detail that they give that, you know, kind of it's one when you hear it, why is it there? Where it says, <coughs> excuse me, from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. A Sabbath day's journey literally means a half a mile. So why that detail is there is it's showing that they are still adhering to the rules and the laws of the Sabbath. You know, there's still that Jewishness about them. Okay, they haven't made that total separation yet. That'll come. That'll come in later chapters of the Acts of the Apostles. But they're going into the synagogues. You know, that is where they're having their, their you know, early masses, shall we say, their services. They haven't quite made that complete split yet. But it will come. It will come. And so what you see is the people at the very beginning of their ministry and the first seven chapters of Acts of the Apostles deals with the church in Jerusalem because that's where it's going to begin to take shape and what does this look like and it's always a beautiful thing to hear from the Acts of the Apostles because it gives us a sense of what it really means to be church you know what it means to be a part of the community of which we are now a part of a worldwide community you know I, the funny thing is when I think of this chapter I think of uh, a great old movie, one of my favorites, on the waterfront. And you have the great priest uh, played by Carl Malden. And he has an incredible line where he's bringing all the, 
the dock workers in and he's speaking with them and he's upset about the numbers. There's not a lot of them because there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear about what the, you know, the mob dub union will do. So only a handful of these dock workers show up. And that's where Carl Malden looks and he said, I wish there was more, but the Romans found out what 12 men can do if it's the right men, if it's the right people there. And that's a great line because it's, you don't need many to go out and spread that good news if they're doing it properly. It, it will, the seeds will be sown and the faith will grow. Uh, but we just need to go forward. And we see also something in our gospel to take great courage in as well. And th that is the, that Christ, and this is a particular part of the gospel, the gospel of John, which is called the, uh, the book of glory. And it is Christ offering the great priestly prayer. And he's praying for us. And that's one of the things we have to hear in that prayer. First of all, I love the way he, he prays for that glorifying of himself, but it's tied to the glory that he has is tied to our salvation. It's not independent. It's what he is going to be doing, that suffering, death, and resurrection. That is where the glory comes in our salvation. And I love the great priestly line because it is, it's, it's so much of what a priest is called to be. You have given these people to me, I give them back to you. And that's that relationship between the Father and the Son that we hear and that we're hearing in this beautiful prayer. But he's praying for us. He's praying for our unity. He's praying for our perseverance in the faith. And he's praying for our holiness, but he's also praying for our joy. And that is something always we have to take great joy in. Our Lord is praying for us who are listening to this Mass. Back all those years ago, those eons ago, 2,000 years ago, in his prayer, he's praying for his apostles, but he's also praying for those who are come, going to come to know the gospel through their works and, and the people as it keeps on going and spreading. So he's praying for us. And that is something to take great joy in and to remember whenever we feel stressed, whenever we feel like, you know, we've had enough, Christ is praying for us. You know, just like the apostles at the beginning, we don't know where everything is going to head at times, but we are given a mission and we do that mission, always aware that our Lord is praying for us. God bless you all. Please stand for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Rejoicing in the unity for which our Savior prayed before his death, we offer our prayers to God the Father that through the church's faithful announcement of the gospel, God's word may spread throughout the world and redeem all pain and suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people in need may find help and that peace and security may be firmly established everywhere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, that they may grow in faith, hope, and love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of those who have died, 
in the service to our nation and for all who continue to risk their lives in the military service. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the poor, the lonely, the unemployed, and all who are disheartened in any way, that they find consolation and peace in the love of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the grace this week to rejoice even when we share in the sufferings of Christ and to glorify God in all that we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. At this time, my friends, I would like to offer a blessing on the veterans. It's always one of the things I took great pleasure in uh, when, you know, in normal times, shall we say, at Mass. So any veterans out there, I ask you to please, you know, if you're able to please stand, this blessing is for you. Lord God of hosts, Stretch forth, we pray, your almighty arm to strengthen and protect these veterans of our country. You supported them in their day of battle, and in the time of testing and training, kept them safe from all evils. You endowed them with courage and loyalty. Grant that in all things they may serve without reproach, and we ask you to grant them the peace that they seek. We ask this as we ask all things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I thank you very much for your service. Thank you to our veterans. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that these, through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is just and right. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and the Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in our highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof. My roof. But I'll only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, I pray that they may be one, as we also are one. Alleluia. At this time, we offer our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I can cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Savior, and grant us confidence that through these sacred mysteries there will be accomplished in the body of the whole church what has already come to pass in Christ, her head, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by a living, living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the, in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be, be to God. God.